You know what this screen here means? Yes, it means we have a brand new version of GarageBand here in iOS on the iPad and the iPhone. Now, whilst the new features are not exactly overwhelming, I did want to take a moment to jump in and show you what is new in version 2.3.4 of GarageBand here in iOS. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And one of the platforms I use an awful lot is GarageBand here in iOS. So with any new update, I like to take a jump in and see what is new here. So here's our what's new section. We have support for the schoolwork app and foundation that is now here in the Apple platform. Now, I'm not going to dive into a lot of detail on this because I'm not a teacher, at least not in the sense of teaching school students, but apparently this is a brand new infrastructure. The schoolwork is a separate app and GarageBand now integrates into that and anything that gets more people, especially young people and school age kids using GarageBand and creating music is all good in my book. So a good new initiative by Apple there. We also have the new note labels on our touch instrument music keyboard, which again is probably an integration within that schoolwork app, the ability for those learning music, especially younger kids, to be able to see what notes they're playing in the keyboard. So we'll show you how to enable that and what that looks like shortly. And we've got some stability improvements and bug fixes, which Apple don't actually tell us what they are. So we'll probably discover and explore those as we go along in the coming weeks and months. But there is one particular bug fix that a lot of people are happy about, which I'll be showing you about in this video. So without any further ado, let's dive in and start looking at these changes here in GarageBand. Now, if like me, you've already updated, you'll have the open button here. If you haven't, all you need to do is come in here to the App Store, search for GarageBand, and instead of open here, you will have update. Hit on update, it'll update to the latest version, you'll be ready to go. One thing to keep in mind is you must be on the latest iOS version, which is version 11.4. If you haven't updated to 11.4, you're gonna to need to come into your settings app here and go to the software update. And going into software update will check for the update and it will let you know your current version if it's not 11.4, you're going to need to update to get this latest version of GarageBand. So let's tap on open and jump into GarageBand here. Now, the changes that we've had here is to our keyboard. So if we jump in here, we'll load up this song and we're going to go to a keyboard instrument. We've got our organ here. And at the moment, you can see there are our new labels. So they weren't there for a minute. I thought I'd done something wrong. But here are our labels in our instrument so that when we actually hit a note, it's gonna tell us which note we're playing. And again, this is a great thing for those learning music or new to music because you can see exactly which notes are which. Now there's a little trick before we actually enable this, which we've had to do originally, and that is to go into our settings all the way out here, not even in GarageBand settings. We scroll down, and when we get to our apps down here, you'll notice that one of these is GarageBand. We tap on GarageBand, and then down here, we've got this new option, Keyboard Note Label. So if we just turn that off, our labels will disappear. With that enabled, it means that we have our labels. So if we go back to our GarageBand now, you can see here that our note labels are there. So if you're using this new feature and you don't see it there, all you need to do is go in and enable that in your settings, not in your GarageBand settings up here, but actually in your Apple iPhone or iPad settings. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna go into details about the other new feature, which is the schoolwork integration, because again, I don't have access to a lot of that because I'm not a teacher at a school. However, I'm sure it is a very cool integration. And as I learn more about that, uh, we may be doing some other videos here on the channel because it is a good thing. Anything that can get people learning and creating in GarageBand is awesome. But there is one of the bug fixes that I did mention before that a lot of the GarageBand using community are really happy about, which is the ability to copy between projects. So you know that we can copy and paste an item within a project. So if I have this organ here and I tap it, and I tap copy, I can now paste that to any other track that's the same type of instrument. So MIDI has to be MIDI, audio recorder has to be audio recorder. But what we used to be able to do was to actually paste this into a separate track, which was taken away in a recent version, but now many are happy because it is back. So if we go to my songs here, let's open up another song that I've prepared here now. This is just an eight bar loop song that we have, but if we create a new track, we'll tap, we'll go to keyboard, 
and then go back to our track view, what we can now do is if we tap, we have the paste option. So we can paste in and there it is, there is our track ready to go. So, and not only that, but because it was 32 bars and this was an eight bar track, it's automatically increased this track to be able to play the entire 32 bars. So it doesn't matter if you copy something from a longer track, as long as you have it set on automatic, go up to your song sections, if that's on automatic, it will expand to cover that. So this is really handy where you're working on a track, you get a particular part and you may go, oh, it doesn't really fit for this, but I'd like to save that or maybe create a new song just around that part. You can now do that by just copying from one project, opening up another project and pasting in that particular section and that particular track. So there you have it, the brand new version 2.3.4. As I said, not particularly overwhelming. As one GarageBand user said, it's kind of like getting a new pair of socks for Christmas. You're grateful for the socks, but you really would like something a little bit extra. Anyway, hopefully next time around, we get some of the new cool features like the new drums and the new Melodyne that we have in the new Mac version, but we will have to wait and see for that. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. If you would like to check out more GarageBand videos, you can check out the two links at the bottom. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.